So this is the HP touchpad. It's a 9.7 inch 1024 by 768 display. It's it's running uh, Qualcomm's uh, dual core Snapdragon processor uh, with the graphics core. It's got stereo speakers powered by HP Beats audio. So an uncompromising visual and multimedia and music experience on this on the touchpad. Couple of things, WebOS is really good on multitasking. So you will notice that each of these cards, each of these cards is a process on its own. So it's really that easy to switch from one application to the other. And it, once I'm done with an application, I just flick it away. So it's as easy, as intuitive, and nothing to remember really. The other concept is the synergy, which means that uh, I am taking uh, data from all the web sources that I subscribe to and pulling it into my touchpad and in the same view. So my Facebook photo is at the same place as my touchpad photos are. Or for that matter, my email, my work email and my personal email are all here. Um, and so you can see when, when you have the bigger workspace, you can zoom in and out all the way into an email and all the way out where you can switch folders and, and applications. And then um, this is your familiar email view where you have your inbox on the left and your viewing pane on the right. Let's say I want to respond to this email. So you see how it's stacked on top of it. This is really a great way to organize my multitask world. And now my email stack moves together. Okay. And I can come back to it whenever I want without losing the work. And you notice that I had two emails going at the same time, which is really unique in mobile OS world today. You don't have to save it in drafts and go searching for it. I can switch back and forth from my email inbox to open emails. Or for that matter, I can go switch back to my photos application. So again, extremely productive, great use of the big workspace, zooming in and out all the way into email or all the way out into my uh, different email sources. Um, the browser, it's a full HTML5 um, flash browser, so really a desktop style browsing. And uh, one of the things I wanted to show you once is just, can I pick up my page? Yeah. Okay. So this is the pre-3. And like I showed you in the, in, uh, in the previous demo, um, what we have also done is we use something called Touchstone technology, which we have used in the past for wireless charging, but now we are using it to share data between the WebOS devices. So let's say I've done some work on my touchpad while I was sitting on my couch. I don't want to redo that work, but I have to go. So all I do is I touch. And then this web page is transferred over to my pre tree and I can now take it to go. Like in US we say we need food to go, we need every all information to go. This is my web information to go. to go, my web to go. Um, and then the only the other thing I wanted to two other things is notifications. So when we do notifications, let's say I am responding to this email and a notification comes in, I don't have to go off of this email and take care of that notification. It's not an interruption, it's a notification. And more so, if I'm done with that notification, I can clean it out from here. So really very powerful, simple tools. Um, you notice a virtual keyboard. It's got a number row. It's extremely familiar format. Let's say I'm typing, uh, let's meet 7 to 8 p.m. Now, if I didn't have that number row, which is actually very common in mobile OSs today, I would have had to switch context a couple of times just to make that work. Here, it's really simple, familiar typing. The other thing is resizability. I can resize that keyboard in any view into a large to extra small. And you notice that I was typing on small. It's, it's extremely usable, but it depends on what you want, what you prefer. So the concept about WebOS is multitasking, uh, full HTML browser, really unobtrusive notifications, and really the way you want to work. We have made it flexible enough. We give you a way, but you can change it. So same thing. We have stacked these cards like we think it should be, but you can always go and change that. You can go take this card. Sorry. You can take this card 
and, and put it here. Okay. Right? So think of it again from a physical desk space. You get a really important email. You don't want it lost in the stack. You want to put it right in front of you. Yeah. Well, I just did that. So it's really those concepts, really making it useful. Power packed device, really big display, uh, but similar concept as those that you would find on your phones. And then, not creating siloed experiences, really connecting the devices so you can share information easily and work the way you want to work.